So the new update of Project Blaze custom room is out. Project Blaze is one of those custom rooms which released just few months ago, and this is now so amazing. Why, sir? Because of some things which they brings you, some interesting things, some unique things, and a lot more things. We're gonna talk about all of those things in this video, so stay tuned and make sure to watch this video till the end. It's based on Android 13 as expectedly, and the default wallpaper is changed. By the way, we will take a look into that later on. The version of of project blaze custom room is version 2.9 what i'm talking about and as expectedly it is having the august security patch let me just take a quick look at the changes which are included with this version the first biggest change of this one is the quick settings panel you have the option to use this quick settings panel which is android 11 style quick settings panel and this quick settings panel looks quite impressive as compared to the android 13 default one although it's just user's preference if you don't want to use this thing you can simply skip this one but if you are looking to install something different in quick settings panel then you should try out this this android 11 quick settings quick settings panel is actually looking so impressive although it is having dark mode only so keep this thing in your mind secondly we also have the quick setting tiles shape customization so you have the option to choose the quick setting tiles to proper round or rectangle or you have the option to choose the round for active and rectangle for non-active tiles like this one so you have the option to customize this one too it's totally up to you if you want to do this thing or not but things are available and i just wanted to let you know Another thing is the Monet engine customizations. You have the option to choose your own custom color and this thing is available in some of the other custom rooms too. What you can do with this one is you have the option to customize the background color, tint background and else and it is not dependent on your device default wallpaper. By default, these things happen whenever you change your wallpaper, the colors automatically changes that is considered as Monet or that is considered as dynamic theming but in this case you have the option to choose a custom one. Another one is Smart Pixel which simply shut off the pixel to reduce the power consumption so in the terms of battery backup improvement then this option quite be, might be quite useful for you if you use this thing on advice or not. You also have the option to off percent of pixels to disable so this is quite useful by the way in this feature the name is Smart Pixel it's available in some other custom homes too but in this case you have the option to auto enable on bat battery saver and the percent of pixels to disable. This is not that bad and this should work definitely fine on your device. We also have the battery styles options present. Battery styles, for example, we have the iOS style battery indicators. We have those options named as landscape, icon landscape, circle. There are many battery styles available. And of course, one of my favorite is landscape iOS 16, which brings you that battery indicator inside that battery, battery style. So this looks so amazing. We also have the option to customize the frame rate in the screen recorder. If you want to record your screen in approximately 120 FPS, this option is present here. You can even use 60, 90, 120 or your own custom set of frame rate. And if you use screen recorder on a device, this thing quite be useful for you. You simply need to enable the screen recording option from the quick settings panel. You can access that very easily. I don't use screen recorder most of the time, so I will not be able to comment on this thing, but this could be quite useful for some of the users if you do screen recording on a device. If I move on to the system options, you will be able to notice we have the power or reboot menu opacity. What this is, let me open the power menu once like this one. This is named as opacity. For example, if I adjust this to 100, then you will see we have no blur and the opacity is fully visible. And if I disable this thing around 50% or decrease this to 20, 10, etc., then you will be able to notice the power menu opacity will be changed. We also have the option for this new settings UI which is kind of only unique to this custom room. It's not available in any custom room I guess. You have the option to enable this thing and the best thing about this one is this is available as an option. You can simply move on the blaze option setting style if you're not satisfied with this one. This is the default one as you can see but if you want to try out something new go to blaze house setting styles new UI and then this is the new UI. So whichever UI you want to consider on advice you can give it a try. This is interesting and this is about Project Blaze. Custom Room is quite smooth and it's available for a lot of official supported devices. Even if your device does not support that, most probably you have the unofficial version. You can go and give it a try. If you want to install this thing on your official device, official learning device, the link for all of the official supported devices is already available in the description. I hope you like this. Although it is having all the useful features too, so make sure to give them a try. 
this is it thanks for watching we will see you in the next one until then goodbye